my name is Tien, uh, but my full name is actually Han Tien, which is spelled H-A-N-H-T-I-E-N. Remember that. Uh, I once had a teacher in high school, a white teacher. Uh, who was reading through roll call and I knew she was about to get to my name because she had that like ethnic pause. <laughs> and before I could say anything, she looked at those letters H-A-N-H-T-I-E-N and said out loud, is there a Hank Tina in the room? <laughs> Hank Tina? Is there a Hank Tina here? That means this grown ass adult who's been given the power to mold young minds looked at those letters H A N H T I E N and thought to herself, <laughs> This is unfamiliar to me. You know what? I'm just gonna combine the nicknames of my favorite two American names, Henry and Christina, Hank Tina. Hank Tina? <laughs> Hank Tina's not a name anywhere. <laughs> That's not a name that exists anywhere in the world. Unless you're like the child of progressive parents from small town Missouri, and they're like, get on out there, Hank Tina. <laughs> Come on, scoot. Find the gender expression that fits you. <laughs> scoot, Hank Tina, scoot. You love it when I say scoot. Scoot, Hank Tina. Um, Han Tien in Vietnamese actually means happy fairy. And that's why I'm gay, yes. Yes. Oh, I made eye contact with him, but yeah, you can have one too. <laughs> Oh, uh, my parents did this to me, like a Vietnamese blessing. And you know, as a professional homosexual who's trying to make it in this industry, it's so exciting that there's like a big gay movie that comes out every year. Like a few years ago, it was Carol, uh, Call Me By Your Name. This year it was Joker. Uh, and it's so, so exciting, but I also find that it's so frustrating that straight actors keep winning awards for playing gay characters when I have yet to win any awards for my convincing portrayal of straight girl who gives hand jobs all throughout high school and college. Okay, I was method. I did not break character once. <laughs> Some people said it was brave. <laughs> Others said, ow, too dry. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna show you what I think is some award-winning acting. Um, and I'd love to have your help right here. What's the last straight movie you've seen? Okay, yeah, that's okay. You're such a good ally, you haven't even seen them. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, uh, I'm gonna take a deep breath and fall into character. You just say action as loud as possible for everyone to hear, okay? Okay, I'm, I've, I've already moved on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, I've like... Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, you got that? I'm a, okay, right, okay. This is the first time I gave a hand job. Okay, too soon. <laughs> it took me a long time to come out of the closet. It takes me a second to get back in. Okay. <sighs> okay. <Whew>. <sighs> Let me get into character. Ugh, it's baseball. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is the first time I gave a hand job. Action. Oh my God. <laughs> Cool Boondock Saints poster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't wait to get my hands on it. Okay, here we go. Skip it up, 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 up,
Ooh, it's working. Oh, you're done already. <laughs> and I'm gay and seen. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Glad my sister is here to see that. Um, uh, I grew up in a predominantly white suburb, and when you're one of the few Asian American kids, people say some pretty weird stuff to you. And by weird, I mean like entertainingly racist. Not like, oh my God, that was so bad, but oh my God, that was so creative. How did you come up with that? <laughs> so I was in high school shopping for tankinis at the local TJ Maxx. <laughs> Yes, ladies, tankinis, because I wanted to be modest but flirty, you know? <laughs> Show an inch of my skin so people are like, what's the rest of her stomach look like? <laughs> and so I was shopping for tankinis and I felt a tap on my shoulder and I turned around and this white woman goes, are you Michelle Kwan? <laughs> and I love picturing this woman seeing me across the way, thumbing through tankinis and she's like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that, is that two-time Olympian, five-time world figure skating champion, Michelle Kwan? In my favorite TJ Maxx? Oh my God. No one else in the store knows. No one else in the store knows. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to her. I'm gonna go talk to her. I didn't say anything right away because that's never happened to me before. And so in my hesitation, she goes, are you Michelle Kwan? I don't want to speak for Michelle. But I feel like I'd know my own name if it was Michelle. You wouldn't have to slow it down for me. When I look back on that moment though, I, I really can't, I can't blame her because I was shopping for tankinis like this. <laughs> it's for all the quinatics out there, that's what we call ourselves. Um, that's not the question that I usually get. The one that I get often um, happened in line for the bathroom recently and these two white women tapped me on the shoulder and I turned around and they go, where are you from? Like, where are you from, from? And so I looked them dead in the eyes and I said, in a land so far away where everyone looks the same. Spirits fish in lakes so great and porcelain skin they do embrace. Fire rises from the water, ancient men and quiet daughters. My home I yearn to see, pussy willows tickle trees. Snowy flakes south of the moon, I hope this song will bring you to Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh, what a dream. <laughs> the land where 